This window above the font, the baptistry window, expresses the significance of baptism for children and for adults. Highest above the four scenes that make up the substantial part of the window, and in the middle, right at the top, you can see the ark, Noah's ark and the rainbow. The ark is a sign of the church, the rainbow, an early covenant, and the water of baptism, another covenant, like the waters of the Red Sea, heralding a faith journey. You see it in the lower right of the four. There is Moses, and you see him as he divides the Red Sea, opening a way to the new world. Also there is Ezekiel's vision of the water, the water of life that comes from the right side of the altar and flows to purify the world. And you see the trees that are there for healing the nations. The baptism of Jesus by John the Baptist is prominent. This window, made in the 1860s in the workshop of John Hardman in Birmingham, is both well conceived and expressive of the significance of the baptism of Jesus and our baptism. It's among the gems of the Abbey's collection of stained glass. Along the north side of the church, in the aisle, there are three stained glass windows, all from different workshops but all commissioned at the time of the Victorian restoration of the church. They form a piece together. The first is the announcing of the kingdom. A number of gospel themes are present, the sower and the reaper. The parable of the talents, the good shepherd and the good Samaritan. The lower part, with the central good shepherd, seems to portray his compassion for the world, and the upper part, the harvest, and the equally compassionate judgment that is to come. The second window is about Easter. The three lancets are divided horizontally to produce six panels. Each is provided with two of the twelve apostles, who carry the symbols of their profession. And the Easter story is told in the lower middle panel. Jesus with Mary Magdalene, depicted with the perfumed oil that she used to anoint Jesus for his burial. And above, the risen and ascended Son, who has accomplished everything and has returned to the Father. In both, Jesus is carrying the flag of victory, unfurled and full of life. You can see the soldiers sleeping, oblivious to the new age that has just been announced. Mary and the disciples, Peter and the two who met him on the road to Emmaus are there. And the heavenly city is portrayed in the highest part of the central light. This is a memorial window, installed in memory of the Reverend Joseph Power, for whom we pray. The third is about the Ascension. See the Ascension in the main part of the window and what might seem like aspects of the Resurrection story already portrayed in the Easter window, repeated in the lower part. In fact, the lower three panels present the account of Jesus raising Lazarus. I am the Resurrection and the Life is the legend under the right-hand lower panel. In the left-hand panel, Jesus is seen reassuring the grief-stricken Martha. The central panel, though it echoes a scene at the Last Supper, is Jesus with Mary and Martha, and Lazarus was one of them at the table. The right-hand panel is Jesus calling forth Lazarus, releasing him from the tomb. And he that was dead came forth. Above is the figure of the ascending Jesus with the inscription, And it came to pass, while he blessed them, Jesus was parted from them and carried up to heaven. This window, like the others, is a composition of contemplation, revealing the gospel truths and mysteries. They remain here, in the glass, 
for each generation to discover again.